Eli Baskoff heavyweight Fabricio Wardham celebrates a quick submit by Walk Harris during their UFC 216 fight at the T-Mobile Arena. By Case Key for Contact published Saturday, October 7, 2017, 7 p.m. Updated 16 minutes ago the first major sporting event on the Las Vegas Strip since Sunday's mass shooting is underway at T-Mobile Arena. The UFC never considered cancelling tonight's pay-per-view card. That doesn't mean the locally based promotion ignored the tragedy. It's pledged $1 million to the victims, and plans to have several tributes tonight on a pay-per-view dedicated to the city of Las Vegas. Additionally, the UFC gave away free tickets to first responders. They all get to cheer on a couple of local fighters on the main card, which will start momentarily. Rising star Kevin Lee, who trains at Extreme Couture, will fight for the interim lightweight title in the main event against Tony Ferguson. Lee's teammate, Evan Dunham, opens the pay-per-view in a lightweight bout against Benny Darwish. Lee and Dunham are both listed as short underdogs by odds makers. The rest of the main card has endured a shake-up over the last month, all the way up to fight night. Heavyweight Derek Lewis pulled out of his bout with Fabricio Wardham less than an hour before the card started with two bulging discs reportedly leaving him immobile. The cancellation boosted an undercard heavyweight fight, Walt Harris vs. Mark Godbier, to the main card. They'll square off right after a women's flyweight bout between Italy's Mara Romero Borella and Brazil's Calindra Faria, a fight that was hastily arranged after an announced pairing between Paige Vans and Tom Jessica I fell through. In the co-main event, a flyweight championship bout between Demetrius Johnson and Ray Borg was shifted to this card after the latter fell ill a day before last month's UFC 215. Johnson could break Anderson Silva's record of 10 straight title defenses with a victory over Borg. The UFC hopes the fights give Las Vegas something to celebrate after a devastating week. Follow along here from Cageside during the UFC 216 main card. Full results from the preliminary card are below. Cody Staman defeated Tom Duquesnoy via split decision 3,027, 2,928, 2,829 in a bantamweight bout to finish off the preliminary card. Lando Van Arter and Bobby Green put in a bid for fight of the night, but got no resolution in the lightweight bout. Van Arter and Green fought to a split draw 2,927, 2,729, 2,828 after the former was penalized a point for kneeing a downed opponent during an early surge in the first round that nearly scored him a knockout. Poliana Botello outgrappled Pearl Gonzalez through three rounds, picking up a unanimous decision in which the women's strawweight won every round on every judge's scorecard. Matt Schnell defeated Marco Beltran via unanimous decision 3,027, 3,027, 2,928 in a flyweight bout. John Moraga came through early as more than a 4-1 to underdog in a flyweight bout against Megan Bibulatov. Moraga knocked the previously undefeated Bibulatov out cold with an overhand right at 138 of the first round. Brad Tavares thanked the first responders, waved a Nevada flag and urged Las Vegas to stay strong after picking up the first victory of the night. The local Tavares defeated Thales Lights by unanimous decision 3,027, 3,026, 3,026 in a middleweight bout. Case Kiefer can be reached at 7,029,482,790 or email protected. Follow Case on Twitter at twitter.com